So let me just give you a little brief history of our school. It had previously been City High School, Riverside High School, as many of you know. And then in 1986, our doors opened. There was a, a group of community leaders in our city who read a book by Mortimer Adler called The Pi Proposal. They said, we want to have a school like that. They wanted it to mirror our city. But the ideas behind it were that the best education for one is the best education for all. And we do that through three different pillars, through didactic teaching, which is sort of the old school I'm gonna tell you, right? Take notes, that kind of thing. Seminar that you all are very familiar with and, and have a discussion and open it, open ended questions and, and, to, and discover and learn from one another. And the third would be coaching. And, and that's when you actually get to practice what you're learning and, and the teacher is there coaching. And with our signature initiative, we're trying to go some, in some areas that we've never gone before, maybe in over 30 years. My experience here will never be forgotten. As diverse as we are, we are very united. All of us, we work together. Since we are a small K-12 school, we know each other. Our teachers know us personally. Everybody has somebody that they can go to. The teachers push us and the school as a whole push you to do more than you're used to. You can expand your horizons and just be the best you can be. Like the sky's the limit, like you can do whatever you want, you can learn whatever you want to. It just, it really depends on you and the initiative that you take in doing that. It's just that, that mindset of just like, I can do anything I want to if I try. There's always been a few lessons that Chattanooga School for the Arts and Sciences has sort of been thinking about. And one of those has always been community. CSAS is a super strong community. It's a diverse community. Our student body is representative of our entire Chattanooga community. And I think what we do is we model how people can talk to each other with civil discourse, how, um, how important it is to think about dialogue and to think about problem solving. And then I also think, you know, CSAS um, can be really instrumental in showing what it's like to not have to specialize in a particular track, that you can be a generalist and you can find success in any field. Here, we're able to branch out and like she said we can take cooking classes like um, Genesis A, robotics so I just feel here at CSA is we can be ourselves we can branch out and our teachers encourage us to do more than we think we can do and like Simi said the sky's the limit. Life only starts at the end of your comfort zone so they always show you all this exposure and everything and that's what helps you realize like what you want to do in the future. That was, that was deep. I gotta admit, that was some deep stuff, man. Like, I can tell you that was deep stuff. <laughs> Life. Because if you, if you don't step out of your comfort zone, you don't know how far you can actually go. Sometimes I kind of forget that not all schools are like this.